When we introduce the ideal gas law, we notice that this equation is a good approximation for any gas behaving ideally. That is to say, at high temperatures and low pressures. But if all gases behave ideally under these conditions, how can we differentiate between gases? The answer is knowing the density of the gas. Let's recall that the molar mass is grams per mole. Let's multiply both sides by the moles and divide both sides by the molar mass. Notice the terms canceling leaves us with moles equals grams over molar mass. Let's go back to the ideal gas law and substitute the moles term into the ideal gas law. Here's our equation. Now, let's multiply both sides by the molar mass and divide both sides by PV. Here is the final equation. Notice that the mass in grams over the volume in liters is the density of the gas. We can rewrite this equation in terms of the density. So here it is. We can identify the gas based on its molar mass, so long as we know the gas's density at some temperature and pressure.